Hi and welcome to another episode of Redken Prime Master. Today we're making Duroc pulled pork and we're using two different kinds of rubs. Now what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now these are two lovely Durak pork knocks without any bone. And as I said, we are going to be rubbing them with two different rubs. So this is coffee cannonball and this is pull that piggy and let's see which one works best. We also need a little bit of mustard and we're going to rub them today and we're going to leave them in the fridge for about 36 hours and then we're going to put them on the Kamado. So we're going to start off with the mustard and we're using that as a binding agent. I'm sure you've seen it in my previous videos. It works really well. It doesn't give up any taste. Uh, so it's really great to stick your rub on. So you can use any mustard you like, you know, obviously if you really want to go all out you can use Dijon mustard, but as you are not going to really taste it after smoking it, I suggest that you use a, a cheaper mustard. And then we're going to use pull that piggy on this one, and as I said, coffee cannonball on the other. And then we're going to do the second one, and now um, what I've done before, and I should have told you that earlier, you want to check um, if there's any pieces of bone or anything that you don't want to have in your pulled pork still stuck to the meat and then obviously cut it off prior but these were beautifully prepared so there was no need to do any kind of cutting um, but yeah that's that's definitely something you would want to because you don't want to bite into a piece of uh, pulled pork or pulled pork burger or anything like that and then all, of a, all of a sudden have a, a piece of bone stuck to it so this is the coffee cannonball um, I'm going to go a little bit lighter on it because obviously coffee tends to be rather um, bitter when it gets too hot. But I'm really curious to find out if that actually works for a pulled pork. So let's see how that goes. And now we're just going to stick it into our vacuum bag and we're going to vacuum pack it until the day after tomorrow. Thirty-six hours for me, for you just a couple of seconds. Thirty-six hours later I've taken them out of the fridge so they can come up to room temperature so that'll take a while. In the meantime I'm going to heat up my Kamado and then they're gonna go on it. The two pork necks are already on the Kamado and the Kamado is sitting at 110 degrees and we're smoking with applewood chunks. Exactly seven hours and 34 minutes later the first of the two is ready and this is actually the coffee cannonball one. So I'm really excited and we're now going to let it rest for about two hours until we're ready to pull it. And then we stick it in the oven at 50 degrees Celsius until we're ready to pull it. Eight hours and 24 minutes later, now this is the second one. And as you can tell, this is a different kind of butcher's paper because, um, you know, Murphy's Law, when you need butcher's paper, you have no more. So I'm using smaller ones, but it will still work out. So we're going to wrap it as well and put it in the oven. Two hours later, we are ready to unpack. And guys, it smells absolutely delicious. And this is the, um, the one with the Canon um, coffee rub. And now doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? Let me just have a quick try. Wow, super juicy, absolutely delicious, great smoke ring. This is what you really want to see guys. This is, this is, uh, I'm absolutely thrilled. And here's the second one with pull that piggy. But if I may say so, it looks equally great and equally juicy. So Duroc really makes a difference. You know, the intramuscular fat is really playing into our cards. So I'm going to portion this up as well. And then it's going to go in the freezer for when we need it. 
All right guys, an all in one day's work. So these are eight packages at 200 grams each of the coffee cannonball rub. And uh, these are eight packages of 200 grams, so it worked out really nicely, uh, of the pull that piggy rub. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the Duroc uh, pulled pork, once with coffee cannonball and the other one with pull that piggy rub. Now if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up and please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Redken Brimaster.